Hello, and welcome back to my Dofus Let's Play Quest to 200. We just left off where we, we picked up the quest uh, Street Fighter, or Street Fight, and he wants us to go take care of these issues. These, however, are not part of the main quest, the main story up here. So, I want to move forward on that. Trading on eggshells are where we need to go. And we're going to get our first Dofus right here. And it's amazing. I don't want to spoil it. I don't, I don't want to show you the stats that come on that, so I'm not going to hover over it yet. We will, we will see that together here in just a moment. So we just turned in Noah, and now we need to go talk to Advisor Arky. We'll head over there right now. All right, here's Arky. Did you wipe your feet properly? Nope, we just marched right in. Announce that the Pandawa smuggler is in custody. You handled the job I gave you very well. I wish all adventurers were that effective. But I probably ask a little too much of them. If they took the time to polish themselves up before invading the Zap Square, shouting at the top of their lungs, that would be a big step in the right direction. I'd say that the call of adventure is probably stronger than that of a scrubbing bush. I spoke to someone influential, the person who represents your kind at meetings of the Council of Astrum. You should meet him. It's always good to know people in high places. All right, you ready to see what this Dofus gives you? The very first one we got. One by Cal. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it glorious? Fantastic. And it looks like, well, it looks like it's going to be February before we could exchange this to anybody. <laughs> ah, this is like the fakest of all fake Dofus right here. All right, so this is one part in the quest where it's going to be a little odd see down here it says class council old graybeard here is supposed to go talk to this gasteru guy but only him this is a quest that is specific to the inutroph if you look at my other characters like tank here he's got somebody else to talk to and my zeller somebody else to talk to each class has its own quest line. If you need help trying to find your steps, you can go to Google and type in Dofus Wiki, W-I-K-I, go through the wiki site and actually find the steps to most of the class council steps. As I was looking through it, I found that there's some classes that don't have any steps written in there. There's other classes that have some of the steps written in there. So, you know, it could be hit or miss on how much information you're going to get from there. Okay, we just completed our class council quest line, and now we're going to move further with the Uprising Damp. Your zeal and effectiveness have drawn Fallen Aster's attention. He's the head of the Council of Astra. You'll have the honor of meeting him. Clearly, it would have been good form for you to wear some decent clothes, but that would take too much time and effort. Balanster has seen others like you. He won't be offended. He's waiting for you in the council hall upstairs. Do your best to show some manners and address him correctly. I used to be a shepherd in Amakna a long time ago, but I don't miss those days. I love being in the thick of things, and running a city is much more exciting than herding gobbles. Word of your arrival in Astrop had reached me, and I thought it would be important for us to meet. According to Advisor Arky, you've done our city a great service by arresting a crook dealing in fake dofus. She thought you were up to the job, and it seems she was right. I'm looking for someone neutral who can parlay with the Strubian rats infesting the tunnels under the city. The militiamen aren't afraid to go wandering in the sewers, but they do tend to throw punches first and ask questions later. Would you be willing to take the mission? Yes. I was planning on going there myself, but I've been persuaded not to. Certain council members think it could be a trap, and they don't have a desire to pay astronomical ransom to free me if I get captured. Don't worry. I happen to think that E2, the rat's leader, genuinely wants to find a solution to our disagreement. Problem. You may have heard of the toxic fumes that have been polluting the Astra mines for some years. The Inutroph community is convinced that the rats are the cause of it. After a ton of hemming and hawing, I managed to convince He2 to meet a council envoy. This way, he'll have a chance to explain himself. The stakes are high. Do you feel up to playing the role of the envoy? Oh, yes. 
Your mission is to discover what's making the rats poison the air in the mines. The meeting will take place in the sewers at a place known as the Bridge of Skulls. Show your goodwill, you won't arrive empty handed. I have Job Sentry prepare a gift for the leader. I hope he'll be impressed by this gesture of respect and that it will felicitate the discussion. Go and see Job to pick up the goods. Good luck. Alright, here we go. Here's Job. Joby? Jobby? I don't know. I'll call him Job. It's easy. I decided to follow my sister, Angela Deco's example by helping the unemployed. Luckily for me, they're few and far between in Astrid. So, I'm paid to do practically nothing and spend my days as I please. You're the one Falinsters decided to send to the rats. Well, I guess he could have done worse. Here are the goods. Don't shake too hard or it might explode. Take the box, get a strong whiff of cheese. Bit strong, isn't it? Don't worry about it. In the sewers, those delicate whiffs of odor will be covered by the much more sickening smells down there. There's a ladder that lets you down to the rat's home south of the zap. Have a nice trip. Head to the sewers. All right, this is it right here. Okay, here's Famished Rat. That must be who we're supposed to talk to. Sniff Sniff. Nice smell. Nick. Give cheese or else scout. Say that the gift is for the leader. Irk! He too not here yet. Nort. Not want give it? We take anyways. Creak! Doing this same fight. Nope, each one's gonna have to do it individually. I guess we'll have five fights going on at one time. Alright, we'll do this one first. This is the one on the screen. I think I'm pretty overpowered for these guys, so I don't expect there to be any difficulty. I have to move fast. The other accounts are going to be going soon. Later. Here. Oh, I think the other account's just activated. Alright, shoot you. And shoot you. And hit you. This is one nice thing about being a little high in levels at the moment is kind of blitz these guys a little bit. Got a pushback we got here. Let's put some turret out here. You're done. Boom. You're gone. Two down. Be three down. And get one more here. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, here's Ramain Itu. Ugh! Never ceases to surprise me just how incompetent my underlings are. But maybe I expect too much from them. After all, they're only rats. Offer a polite greeting. Council of Astra must have sent you. I'm sorry you were attacked. The ravenous slot couldn't resist the smell of cheese. Thank you. I'll enjoy this with a glass of good Amoknian wine. What? That surprises you? Frick! It's true that I'm a hair more refined than those idiodents working for me. Perhaps that's why they respect me. Or maybe it's because I can crush their skulls with my staff. Talk about what brings you. You're right. You didn't come here to chew the fat. Snick! My people are accused of poisoning the Astrid tunnels with noxious vapors, and making the creatures who live in the tunnels ill. But the rats have nothing to do with that. It is true that in the past we often spread diseases and various other calamities. But times have changed. We like living under the Twelvian cities, and emptying cities of their inhabitants isn't at all in our interest. Kirk! We have a hard time getting the authorities to listen to us. It must be said that few of us speak your language, which doesn't make communicating easy. 
We snooped around a bit everywhere to figure out where the harmful fumes are coming from. And we found something interesting stuck to an old rusty grate. Shows you a turfed of black fur. It looks like rat fur. Merc! You don't know anything. Look closer. It's rotsier fur. I sent several rats to explore the old ducks filled with toxic gases. The ones that made it back found many signs that Roxier had been there. What could those pickaxe fanatics be doing in the sewers? Me? I say they're up to something. Everyone knows they've got no love lost for as Astrubians. And it wouldn't surprise me if they try to chase you out of the tunnels. If I were you, I'd snoop around at the quarry mines. Ever since the Ratsiers have taken hold of that place, no one really knows what they're doing, what they're up to. You've got nothing to lose by taking a peek. You might even solve the mystery. Hesitate briefly, then decide to explore. Alright, well I guess we're heading over to the mines. Okay, well, a lot has happened since I left the sewers of Astrib, which happened probably only moments ago. It's been several days actually, about a week, and I bought a microphone. I hope that you can tell a difference already, even in the same clip. I'm going to deliberately stitch this into the same video as that last clip. That way, if there's a big quality difference, hopefully it just shows right out of the gate. The microphone I got is the Blue Snowball, which any one of you guys who are a YouTube streamer yourself probably know exactly which one that is. Figure it's a good step in the right direction. Maybe as I continue to grow on down the road, I'll look into the Blue Yeti. But for now, the Snowball is definitely what I'm looking forward to. And as we're approaching winter, it's only appropriate, right? Uh, the other thing that I needed to ask you, I just spent probably an hour and a half tinkering around with recording full screen versus the way I've got it set up here where you can see when I flip through my four screens, you get to see all four of my screens. Well, if I set OBS to record one screen, I can set it to full screen and you won't have my windows bars here at the bottom and at the top. But I did some playing around with that and I didn't know if I liked it more or less than the way it's set up right now because you would see what I was doing when I, let's say that I was using, let's say that Smokin' is the screen I was going to record. Well, when I would use these three, you would see them make their moves, you would see them make their attacks, but you wouldn't see their spells, you wouldn't see me click certain spells, but it seemed like there were long pauses where you wouldn't see anything taking place on screen while I was figuring out what I was going to do with my my other characters. So if you think you'd prefer that, uh, the, the problem is that if I try to edit where I crop the screen in, like I can make the video in my editing software, I can crop it down from here and I can crop it down from here so that you don't see those. But it also comes in on the sides so you're going to eliminate, like you're only going to see a part of this map. The the screen comes up through part of the, the toolbars. The pictures that pop up on the left-hand side, they, they're kind of cut off. It, personally, I thought it looked worse than just having the bars on the top and the bottom. But, you know, I, I just need some feedback from you all to see what you would prefer. I can do a full screen, and it's beautiful. It looks great but you're only gonna see me actually moving the mouse on one screen. You're only gonna see the spells, you know, the little icon spells down here on one screen. You'll still see my team making their attacks and stuff, but you won't see me clicking and, and deciding on what to do. And so, yeah, I'm not sure if all that makes sense or not, but if you guys could leave me some feedback, do you like the way I'm doing it right now? Where as I click through the different screens, you get to see the different setups, or would you prefer to just see one screen but it's a full screen. Like if I set this, it would look like this. So you don't have the bar at the top, you don't have the bar at the bottom. I'm cool with either. Yeah, so that's a lot that's happened. <laughs> oh, and the other thing I did is I doubled the RAM in my computer. Uh, I noticed in my last video, or maybe it was two videos ago, there was definitely a little bit of skipping, some frame skipping taking place when there was a lot of action going on. And it was the fact that my computer was just maxing out on memory. So I went out, bought another memory stick, put it in here today. I have 16 now instead of eight. And I tell you what, 
I didn't realize how slow my Dofus was running until I've had the extra stick in there and I'm, I'm running it now and I'm like, wow, the loading screens and everything are so much better. So Now, continuing the Astrop quest, we just left the, the sewers and now we were told to come over here and explore the quarry. This is, the quarry is this little area right over here off to the right. Stares at you with his only eye. Keep moving, there's nothing to see here. Ask what's behind the door. It doesn't concern you. Buzz off. If you don't scram, we'll call for backup and kick you out. Insist in no uncertain terms. <laughs> Looks like it's just a dozen of them showed up and threw us out. <laughs> now, to create a diversion, we gotta go through a few steps. All right, this bag right here, that's what we're supposed to click on. We just double click this. All right, now we're supposed to go behind these barrels and talk to them from here. Looks around with a worried expression. Speaks to the Garcia next to him. Hey, did you hear that? It sounded like an explosion. We'd better go take a look turns to the other rot seer. Um, go and have a look. I've got your back. It could be a trap. We'll both go. <laughs> All right, now we should be able to go behind the door. Oh, what the? I thought it was... Oh, it blew fire in there. That's kind of cool. I thought that was like a little poop dispenser at first but then I noticed it was rocks <laughs> oh my this is the rat to thrust sounds like a Klingon word breathes magical fire to power the the rot seers machine note the toxic clouds escaping from the machine yeah, I guess it does look a little foggy in here or get the attention glances in your direction rot the thrust must work or the Rotziers won't be happy. Rothrasks doesn't want to be punished. <laughs> I don't know if that's how he would sound, but he looks kind of like that, right? Kind of like a Klingon. He's got a Klingon name, a Klingon look, and a Klingon sound. <laughs> that's if that sounds at all like a Klingon. Point out the door of the dragon's prison and offer to free it. Rothrasks would like to go outside. But the Rotseers won't let him. They say that Rothsrosk is not a good boy and that he's locked up for his own good. Try to turn the wheel to open the door and find that it's blocked by a lock. You'll need to break it. Okay, well, I, let's go find that lock breaker. Okay, to free him, we go outside of the mines and we click this pickaxe right here. There we go. And then do we have to... Yeah, we we put that on, I believe. Okay, yep, there we go. When do we get to keep that? I mean, not that it's... Obviously, it's not a very good weapon, but it looks kind of cool. All right, let's go back in and free Rothrosk. All right, Rothrosk, we are back. Get the young dragon's attention. Point out the door. Smash the lock that's blocking the wheel. Stops breathing and starts transforming. Oh, it's a little squirrel. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Ah, look who finally came back. You guys got awfully spooked from a firework. Garisery! <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Force your way past. Oh my goodness, look at all those. Can we all? Oh, nope. It doesn't look like we can all jump in. All right, we're going to do each fight by itself here. Hey, at least we got this guy with us. Wow, 1300 HP. Hey, he's got as much as I do. All right, let's see. This down. Uh, let's just keep you back here. Wow, see, that, there's eight of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. 280, I got, 
Wow, they got good resistances too. See at the bottom down here? If you look down here when I hover over top one of these guys, you can see where their resistances and stuff are. I'm gonna go over that information here fairly soon. I sure hope that the, uh, the guy we just rescued is a heavy hitter. So I think I'm gonna need the assistance. All right, let's see what it is. Whoa, he just, oh. He took out two of them in one hit. That's a good sign. Not too bad there, Radathrosk. Of course, he doesn't look like a Klingon anymore. Let's go with this one here. Let's see if we can take out another one. Almost. These guys lay traps in the ground. That's why when I started moving, it looked like he attacked. It's just he had planted a trap on the ground that I stepped on. And since this thing is shielding me at the moment, it took the damage for me, thankfully. Let's leave the bag right there. All right, well, he's got those ones occupied. I'm doing fine. I got plenty of health. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a fight, but it's not... Not overwhelming. See, which one did okay that's the one I damaged I'm gonna use this opportunistness -ness, something like that what I can do with this it's an agility attack and when I use it it gives me plus power which is basically making all my spells stronger so since I knew I could kill him with one of those attacks I decided to go ahead and use that that round so now if you look at Right here, I've got plus 100 power, which is basically like 100 agility, 100 chance, strength, and intelligence. Now, I don't plan on using any of those other ones, but it still buffs my agility attacks by 100. Which is pretty nice. And it does that for two turns. Alright. Let's carry you. How are you looking? Okay, woo! Wow, I don't know what that move is. It must be a pushback thing, because... That's how it happened last time, is you pushed it right back into... Okay. There goes one. That's not a bad fight. I kind of like that one, well, two versus eight scenario there. So I'm gonna, we're gonna watch each fight here. Let's see how Sir Tank does. Now Tank, he's actually got some extra manpower he can bring out too, since I've got the and put this on since I got the humper or the the harpooner I can throw this out there and get some extra help Let's pull myself over there I oh, can't quite reach it I was gonna evolve it once but I'll have to wait till next turn oh yeah Now, anytime you evolve one of your your turrets with your Foggernaut, anytime you evolve one of these, not only does it take it to the next level, but it also restores any damage that's been done to it. So like when I do this, it's gonna heal it as well. So that is pretty cool. All right, I can do at least one attack here. And I got my next spell here, this Draugrnaut. The nice thing about this is I can cast this on myself and it makes it to where my harpooner will not attack me. And if you noticed, it did a uh, one space in front, left, right, that sort of thing. So if I have my team standing right here and I cast this, my harpooner won't attack any of us, even if we're standing right next to it. The other way you can use that is it also immunizes the enemies against the healing turret. So let's say my healing turret was right here and I didn't want these guys to get healed. I could cast that on them and it'll make it there. I believe it's for three turns. I think it's for three turns. Uh, I would not have to worry about them being targeted for a heal. There we go. Although my harpoon is not really able to line up on those guys now, depending on where these guys go. See, I can recast my harpooner now. I might want to throw it. 
I think I'm going to throw it over here so it can line up on these guys now. It's going to attack you. Sorry there, buddy. Oh, I can't, um, can't hit around that corner. But what I can do is I can push this guy so he pops out over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put my healing turret here and get a little health back. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, cool. Now they're all over there on that side. Alright. The resistances these guys have is actually pretty impressive. Ooh. Just took them out. Alright, buddy. You're gone now. Alright. That's two. Next up, we got smoking. Now, I hope my game sound is being recorded. The The new setup I got is very different. Um, I'm... Oh, I still have my, my pickaxe equipped. <laughs> I haven't switched my weapon back yet. The setup is, like, so different from what I'm used to. Oh, yeah, so I got the microphone in front of me, and I've got my game volume being recorded through my speakers, but I have my speakers practically turned off. But from what I understand, it's still being recorded. So, hopefully that is actually the case, and I don't have a whole bunch of no, no sound effect recording going on. I did a ton of testing. I probably spent an hour and a half, two hours just testing places to put my microphone, testing game volume, testing my microphone volume. I was like, goodness, I practically spent a whole evening just tinkering around with my sounds. Get you again. Not going to be quite enough to kill you. Maybe this one. Nope, that one. Okay. Alright, Rat the Throsk. Really counting on you putting out some damage here. Okay, let's see where it's gonna go from here. It's kinda weird doing such a big fight with just a single character. It's kinda hard to talk about like what I'm going to do, what the reason I'm doing this or that when honestly it's just just me waiting on the other guys to take their turns so that I can then do my next hit. Right, let's cast that here. Give you a punch there. And it's not enough to get you back. But I can always hit you again. Alright, Roth the Thrask, where are you? Come over here and punish these guys. These guys put a lot of booby traps on the ground almost safer not to try to move. Oop, I went one. There we go, punch. 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 Alright. I'm gonna scoot you back. There we go. Oof. You just laid a booby trap down right there, didn't you? That's why you scooted back. Now, this is pretty cool. So my Zeller has a spell, this Frostbite. It'll move them back to their previous position. So I can put him right back here. So he just landed on his own booby trap. And since his, his buddy stopped right there, they're now lined up to do a telefrag change on him. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Might, might be able to get this one if I get a good hit. Oh, yep, just a little bit shy. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, now he's really running. Taking off around that corner. Okay, let's see. You are just about dead. And then I got a diagonal attack. I can use it. Get you on the other side of the corner. I'm gonna cast this here to block my line of sight, or block his line of sight. And then on my next turn, I'll be able to teleport right over it. Oh, never mind. Rot the Thrust took care of that one. Let's see how we do with Explosia. Now this could be a great, this could be a great setup for getting a nice bomb wall put together. If I get it in the right place, I can pull these guys onto it. see where it goes from here. Of course they're gonna put their booby traps down everywhere. We've got lots of booby traps. Alright, you gonna move? Oh, you didn't move out of the way. Alright, well I'm at least gonna just blast you. Pull some health out of you. Okay, there's one. Let's see where these guys go. Alright, my plan is I'm gonna pull this bomb right over here as long as my little squirrel friend gets out of the way and I'm gonna create a bomb wall going this way oh why'd you move in front of him hmm can I reach dirty trick oh I gotta go through all the worst part is you gotta go through that animation every time all right yep I can dirty trick with this here I don't know do I got oh yeah here we go Oh, in one space too far. <laughs> oh, boy, that was a that was a fail and a half. Here, I thought I did something epic. If I could have walked straight up, but this guy was going to lock me. That's why I went over one. Otherwise, that would have been gorgeous. I'd have been so proud of myself. That's all right. These guys are still going to get it. Let's do this. Leave. Good gracious. Suck this over there. That should do it. Boom. I'll hit you with what I got left. Not much. This is definitely a minefield now. I don't know about a mine shaft, but it's definitely a minefield. Ah! <laughs> There's another one. Do I hit a trap? Yep, I hit a trap. Okay. You're closer to dead. I'll pull some health out of you. There we go. Get closer. Oh, you might not want to stay. Oh, you stayed right there. Bad move, buddy. Gonna come right down here. Boom! See you later. And I have no MP left, but I'll shoot either way. I'm shooting blanks. Well, I think I've done a pretty good job of making sure Rothathras can't get over here anymore. Okay, so I'm going to suck some health out of you. This might be enough to finish you here. Be close. Nope, not quite. No! Push me onto my own bomb wall. Oh, I hope he finishes him. Whew! Otherwise I was gonna die. <laughs> I would have been dead on my next turn. Because it did 500 damage. So at the start of my turn, I only had 400 health left. That was close. Rot the Thrask. Explosia owes you one. Okay, so now that we've defeated those guys, now we're gonna head back to the council hall to talk to that the big guy, I don't remember what his name was. He was in the back room. Oh, I wanted to show you something real cool here too. So on Tank, but Tank has a cloak on. This right here, Pharaoh cape. And see how it says at the bottom there, it says someone's following you. It's this little tofu. This little tofu follows me around everywhere as long as I have this cape on. It's like I got a little pet. 
It's so cool. Of course, he looks pretty cool too. All right, so let's head back to the council. Fallenster was his name. You brought back a squirrel? I admit I'm perplexed. What can you report on the mission I entrusted you with? Turn to Ratsrosk and ask him to change forms. Ah, oh, he's a Klingon again. <laughs> a thousand gobble horns. A dragon? I wasn't expecting that. No, we call him a Klingon. And you say that the toxic fumes are supposedly caused by a machine controlled by the Rotseers? We've had some trouble with these creatures since Astrid was rebuilt, but I didn't realize they posed such a threat. I'm going to have to think of a way to counteract their plans. In any case, well done. You've completed your mission beyond my expectations. Glad to help. As for your new friend, there's a myth about a dragon that used to watch over Astrib in ancient times. I wonder if it has anything to do with Raptorosk. Our archivist, Aisling, might know more about this. Why don't you go see Aisling? She's in charge of the city library. She'll be thrilled to help us shed some light on this. Meanwhile, I'm going to have a discussion with Rathrosk. Ah. Thanks to the library books, the citizens of Astrid can look to the future by knowing the past. I'm happy to share the legacy of the elders. Let's ask about that dragon. Now that's a fascinating story. It reminds me of a text I read. One of the library books recounts the legend of a gray squirrel. That surely can't be a coincidence. From what I know, the City of Mercenaries archives tell of a gray dragon that saved the city many times. This happened even before the six Dofus were created. But, sadly, the archives were destroyed nearly 150 years ago. However, I still hope to find some of the information they contained in the other text. If you want to, I wouldn't say no. Oh, I think the recruit who just came in wants to talk to you. Maybe it's an urgent message for you. Oh, that's her right there. <laughs> Popped in as soon as we hit that. Are you old Greybeard? I'm here on behalf of Chief Igor Ant. There's some news regarding the fake Dofus. The boss would like you to meet one of his recruits in the forest, near a smuggler's hideout. The mercenary has discovered something incredible. Note the rendezvous spot and leave immediately. Alright, I believe that finishes the uprising quest. And now we go on to the forest walk. But I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Main quest, model citizen. There we are. Forest walk is the last one, and then we get the Neil emote. Thanks for watching another video. I hope the new microphone sounds good. I hope the new setup I have here sounds good. If you have any recommendations of things I should change, I do look to maybe get a pop filter or something here at some point. Hopefully, I'm trying to be conscious of speaking directly into the mic, so hopefully there's not too much popping going on as I'm talking. Thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, hit that like button. That way I help get discovered amongst the YouTube's gigantic inventory. And if you want to know right when my videos go up, hit that subscribe button and you'll get a notice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.